Lucy's quiz at long last. This is a quiz like no other. I'm sorry we're a bit late. We're often a bit late, to be honest. Um, but we're late this time for technical reasons, but we've managed to get everybody here. So welcome to our fabulous quiz. It's the end of the evening, a time to relax and unwind, um, especially for me, because uh, this is the place where I get to uh, focus on spinning the wheel and trying to tally up the scores, because our quiz master with the most, Dave Rothery, Professor of Planetary Geosciences, will be doing all of the hard work for me. Welcome, Dave. How are you? You're looking very glamorous tonight. And raring to go and champing at the bit. Oh, applause. don't applaud. Don't applaud just for our money. It's absolutely wonderful, Dave. Now, you've been doing our quiz for many years, but uh, never one quite like this evening. So we have um, an amazing team together. We um, obviously have had to make do with various lockdown provisions. I, I have the wheel, which is a, a repurposed bicycle wheel. Yeah, and, and a scoreboard here that I'm going to use um, to keep tabs on the teams. But why don't you tell us how it all works and uh, what's in store for us for the next uh, hour or so? OK, well, we've got less than an hour now, so I'll be as quick as I can. Uh, we have six categories of questions. We will spin the wheel to decide which category. I will read the question out. There are four answers. I only want from each team the answer A, B, C or D. Team Home will be pressing buzzers on their widgets to answer A, B, C or D as well. Uh, if you uh, interrupt incorrectly, the... Um, opposite team gets to answer the question when they've heard me read it all out and um, so it goes and we'll be checking in with team home to see how they're they're doing at home uh, we'll, we'll come to team home in a moment but let's introduce the teams and i also want to find out what their buzzers sound like um um darren would you like to introduce to me the welsh wizards please and then we'll have a hear of your buzzer darren who are you and who are your team Thank you, Quizmaster. Hi, everybody. My name is Darren Jones. I'm the Partnerships Manager for the Open University in Wales. This is my buzzer. I'll just hand Boing. over to Richard to introduce himself. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm uh, Richard Marsden. I'm Director of Teaching for the School of Arts and Humanities, and I also go... Boing. <laughs> Excellent. And over to Gareth. Gareth. Yeah, yeah. Hello, I'm Gareth Davis. I work in the student support team as an educational advisor down in Wales. And um... thank you. <laughs> and uh, the Irish team, captained by John Darcy's Hodor's heroes, still living off the fading glory of having recorded Game of Thrones nearby. Introduce <laughs> yourself and play your buzzer um... to me, please. And many, many other series as well, Dave. My name's John Darcy. <laughs> Glad to be here. Wishing you well from across the sea border. This is my buzzer. And I'll ask Cherie to introduce herself. Hi, Cherie. Hi, I'm Cherie. I am in student support between learner support and student recruitment. Kind of everything up in the air at the minute. I'm also a honker. And Matthew? <laughs> Hi, um, I'm Matthew Duncan. I'm the Marketing and Communications Assistant for the OU in Ireland, and I'm also a honk buzzer. Okay. You're, I've been writing hoot, but you're, you're, you're reckoning that's a honk. Fair enough. You're closer to it. I'll add to your greater <laughs> judgment. Um, HJ, any words for Team Home before we get going? Yeah, so Team Home is ready and raring to go. We were actually here on time, so uh, we're awarding ourselves for a point for that. And uh, the amazing Tala <laughs> is keeping scores for Team Home. So play along in the chat or use the widget to your left where you'll see the questions pop up and we can work together. And uh, hopefully 2021 will be a great year for Team Home. Well, Again. let's see. Well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's get cracking. I'll, I'll, I'll try to remember to tell you what each ology means when we get to it. So I think we're ready. Karen, please spin the wheel. Oh, waking the dogs up. Oh, agnatology. Blue, which is agnatology. Well, it says here, agnatology is about human ignorance. So fingers on buzzers or boingers or honkers, please. Um. Remember, when you, as soon as you buzz in, I will stop reading and uh, want the answer A, B, C, or D from you. So, question number one in the agnotology category. The BBC murder drama series Death in Paradise 
is set on the fictional Caribbean island of San Marie, but on which real island is it filmed? Is it A, San Serif? Is it B, Guadalajara? Is it C, Guadalcanal? Or is it D, Guadalupe? That was a boing. So somebody on the Welsh Wizards team, what's the answer? Oh, you've got letters to hold up. Excellent. It is indeed uh, D Guadalupe. So that's a point to the Welsh team. <laughs> well done. It's going better than the rehearsal. <laughs> <laughs> um, San Serif, uh, option A, is a fictional island nation created for April Fool's Day 1977 by the Guardian newspaper. It's got two islands, uppercase and lowercase, and they feature <laughs> landmarks such as 30 point and a swamp called the Wodge of Type. How did Team Home do on that, uh, HJ? We did very well. I think it's because we've got a lot of fans, and uh, I'm glad for that because I have no idea. My geography is not that great. But Ajuna says, uh, D, definitely watch it every Saturday with my family. So, uh, yes, I think we're doing well. Off to a great start, as always, for Team Home. Well, don't peek too soon. Let's spin the wheel again and see what we get next. All my favourite zoology. Pink is zoology. Okay. Well, zoology is the study of animals. So your first zoological question, where can't a chicken cross the road? Is it A, Georgia, USA? Is it B, London, UK? Is it C, Catalonia, Spain? Or is it D, the Kanto region of Japan? That's a boing. So the Welsh wizards are in first again. Which wizard boinged first? Hold up a letter if you have one. It was me. It was me. Uh, I can't, I'm afraid, because Google's just stopped working. <laughs> what B? B. You think the chicken cannot cross the road in down. London? That is incorrect. Uh, so I throw it open to Hodor's heroes. Uh, you, Any ideas, guys? You, John? You can consult. Come on, consult and come up with a. I can't I think see that. Good, what does it say? C, Catalonia. C? No, that's also wrong. So no points scored there. <laughs> no, you, no, Sherry thinks it's Catalonia. Two of you holding it up makes no difference. You're both wrong. <laughs> uh, the, the actual answer is, um, is A, Georgia. If you own chickens in Quitman, Georgia, it's illegal to let them cross a road. <laughs> well, well, well. Learn and live. So the score is still 1 0. Um, do they know their chickens in um, oh, no. Team Home <laughs> Well, um, Davin uh, definitely said there can't be any chickens crossing roads on Mars because there's no space suits for chickens and no roads up there, which is true, probably, but uh, it's not one of the options. Um, a few of us live in London, so we haven't seen any chickens crossing roads there. But uh, overall, we thought it was D, Kanto region, Japan. Oh, well, no points to team home either. OK, let, let's crack on and spin the wheel, please, Karen. A very challenging question. Let's see what we end up with. Agnotology. Blue is agnotology again. The second agnotological question Right. Who said of the Spanish that they wondered much at the sickness of our people until they knew of the strength of their drinks, but then they wondered more that they were not all dead? Was it A, a 17th century governor of Jamaica, speaking of the debauched town of Port Royal? Was it B, the British consul at Malaga, referring to latest behaviour of visiting English football fans during the Euros of 2004? Was it C, George Orwell, referring to expatriate Republican Civil War volunteers in his homage to Catalonia? Or was it D, William Travis, recalling the defence of the Alamo on its 25th anniversary? 
Uh, that was a hoot uh, or a honk. Yeah. Uh, that, that, that sorry, I heard the Welsh honk. Yeah, so that's from Wales. No, 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 no. So it was an Irish honk. It was Ireland. I, was it, was I must it, say, Wales is a boy. We, we can't be biased towards Wales. I, I well, think sorry. It, 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 it was a honk. <laughs> It was Wait, definitely sorry, a honk. Yeah, I've, I've, it was I've an Irish honk. It's an Irish honk. And but we'll take it away from the car, don't we? <laughs> yeah, I will go for C. Hold You're on. going for C, which is what? It was George Orwell. C, C was George Orwell. Um, uh, that's an incorrect answer. It was not George Orwell in Homage oh. to Catalonia. So. Oh. So I reckon it's so. Uh, go, go, Gareth. What is it? Do you think it's A? I was You've going got to hold the a card a. up. It's not proper, a. A. otherwise. A. 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 a is being held up. That is indeed correct. So that's a point to uh, <laughs> Ooh, triple A. Uh, uh, yeah, it was Thomas Modiford, Governor of Jamaica, 1664 to 1671. Um. The Euros 2004 were in Portugal, not Spain. And why can't it have been Bill Travis on the 25th anniversary of the Alamo? He was killed in the defence of the Alamo, so he couldn't really recall it 25 years later. Did Team Home know any of these answers, or did they get the right answer, I should say, HJ? <laughs> well, we thought it was George Orwell as well. That was our sort of majority collective answer. But we want to know who is William Travis, so we're going to do some research on that. It's got our minds going. Can your team not remember the Alamo? There's William Travis, there was Jim Boone, and there was Davy Crockett, played by John Wayne, defending the Alamo against Mexicans, not Spanish. It was complete baloney option D. <laughs> okay, what's the score, please, Karen? The score on my board is two to Wales, nil to Ireland. Two nil. Yeah. Come on, Ireland. We better spin the wheel and see if uh, we can yeah. get an early honk. Oh, pantology. Oh. Purple pantology. It says here, pantology is a view of all branches of human knowledge. Oh, as a question from each of you subject area. So, pantology is... Bear with me. Okay, your first pantological question. What was the first internet browser? Was it A, Netscape... <laughs> Was it was it B Firefox? Was it C Opera or was it D Mosaic? That was a Boeing, which is coming from Wales. So somebody hold something up. One I just, I just made Wales. that. I counted that in myself. <laughs> right. Now, now tell me what your real answer is. A, B, C or D? Uh, Come a. On. That's incorrect. A. I'll throw it. No, it's not A. I'm going to throw it open to Hodor's Heroes. Now, you know it's not A and it's not and E. <laughs> I have team captain you guys going with C. Yeah, we'll go Jerry's with C. holding a C up. You going with No, hard luck. Yeah. It's uh it's oh, actually, it's sorry, Spaghetti. It's it was D Mosaic, initially released in January ninety three. Uh I'd never heard of it. Hard luck, did they know their internet browsers at home, HJ? We were a bit split on that one. So uh, a few of us thought it was A, Netscape as well. But um, Chris, Mandy and Sasha were right on track there and did say it was Mosaic. OK, well done, Chris, Mandy and Sasha. Karen, spin that wheel, please. We well, like zoology. Zoology so do I again. We've had lots of lovely um, animals today. 
Okay. Fingers on buzzers. The world's oldest cat lived to what age? Was it A, 18 years? Was it B, 23 years? Was it C, 34 years? Or was it D, 38 years? That was a boink, oh, which is Wales again. I think it was 34 years. <laughs> uh, no, it wasn't. Hard luck. Oh. <laughs> so, oh. uh, Please skip. <laughs> come on, Hogor's Heroes. You're left with A, B or D. 18, 23 or 38. Couldn't be A. A is 18, is that right? Which couldn't be A was 18. Because... <laughs> I think that's sort of average, is it not? Like a decently long life so, cat. <laughs> So it's it's not A then. So we're going for. It could be A, John. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I think the team captain. Team captain. Team captain. <laughs> okay, okay, we'll go for D. D. You think the Special oldest cat, cat lived for thirty-eight years? You were right. Well done. Absolutely. It's quite <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, was no Google either. <laughs> The, the cat was called Cream Puff. It lived in Austin, Texas. Born in 67, lived until August 2005. I don't know how long the rest of its eight lives lasted, but its first life was 38 years. <laughs> Are they any good at guessing at home, HJ? Yeah, so uh, Sarah, Lorraine, <laughs> Chris uh, were straight on there. Jodie and Ellie as well, so they were very confident with their answer, and uh, I think they got the point there for Team Home. Oh, okay. Oh, well, let's and how going. many points have Team uh, Home got now, HJ? Uh, well, we'll have to... Tala's keeping score for us, so um, we'll get an update from Tala, and we'll let everyone know on the next question how well we're doing. <laughs> But we might we might add some things, bonus points for just being you such a good team. I think you absolutely can't do that. You've got to wait until Dave gives the bonus points, which I'm sure he'll do very soon because there's only 25 minutes left. So Dave, we okay, better get a right, right, What is the score here in the? Uh, oh, you. Oh well, Wales. it's 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 Wales. Two, I'm doing Roman numerals. I'm doing Wales two, Ireland one. So. We haven't achieved okay. a huge amount in the last half hour, but we have got online. Have, well, okay, well, let's, let's get that wheel spun then and let's find another question. Pantology. That's purple, isn't it? Mm. No, that's purple. Pantology. Oh, it, it's different to okay, zoology, well, which is pink, yeah. Purple, yes, you're right, it's pantology. Okay, who is referred to as the father of psychoanalysis? Is it A, Jean Piaget? Is it B, Carl Rogers? Is it C, Frederick Hayek? Or is it D, Sigmund Freud? That was Boeing, which is Welsh. They're quite these Welsh with their fingers. D, Sigmund Freud is correct. Well done. That's another point to the Welsh Wizards. No, but it speeds things up a bit. <laughs> Surely Team Home didn't have time to even Gareth begin to think up. about answering that, did they? Quick, quick. Well, they were straight on there. They said D, so Lorraine, Laura, Victoria, Davin, uh, Sarah and Kelvin got on there with uh, Sigmund Freud. So I think uh, there we go. By Tala's count and being fair and awarding no bonus, bonus points to ourselves yet, we're on three. Oh, Okay. All right, let's have another question, please. Agnatology. Uh, agnatology This wheel again. seems a bit biased towards certain ones, don't you think, Dave? <laughs> I think it's got a weight uh, in it, probably a mint okay. imperial or something. This is a question about people named James Bruce. Three are real and one is made up. So which of these James Bruce's is made up? Is it A, James Bruce, an identity assumed by one William MacDougall, an unsuccessful pretender to the throne of Scotland upon the death of David II in 1371? He claimed he was a great-grandson of Robert the Bruce. Was it James Bruce, an 18th century Scotsman who claimed to have visited the source of the Blue Nile? 
1770, was it James Bruce, the eighth Earl of Elgin, who in the mid 19th century served successively as governor of Jamaica, governor general of Canada, and vice viceroy of India? Or is it James Bruce, an academic who became a senior lecturer in organic chemistry at the OU in 2010? So which of those James Bruce's is made up? Okay, that was a that was a honk, wasn't it? Which is a, a Welsh honk. No, Irish. 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 <laughs> was it? Was it a boing? Oh, no, the the Welsh yeah, honk. Yeah. honk. It was a honk. The Welsh across... boing. No, the Welsh <laughs> boing. We're not honkers. <laughs> the Irish honk. The Welsh smell quite nice. The Welsh boing. <laughs> so it was a boing. <laughs> It was a boy. No, it yeah? was a honk. It was a honk. <laughs> it was a honk. It's an Irish honk. Okay, sorry. Can we not have a bell for one of these next time? Okay. <laughs> How are those heroes? You're saying the made up James Bruce was the 18th century Scotsman who claimed to be the source of a Blue Nile. I'm sorry, but it's incorrect. Oh. So oh. we throw it open to the, um, the Boingers. From the other side of St George's Channel. Well, I, I I can't remember which. I don't which. think it's the Elgin guy because I think I think no, I think it's the character. first one, the one like Rob but the Bruce. I think it's too early a. to be his grandson. Let's go with yeah. A then, yeah. Let's go a, with a. 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 a, you are correct, and you have a point. Oh. Well done, well done, Gareth. Well done. Gareth. Well done. Well done. But the dates would fit Finally, up, Gareth, please. you've done something useful. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's a, a bonus question here. Uh, buzz in and uh, just tell me the answer. Um, William McDougall, who was said to be the true name of James and Bruce in option A, is better known in The Simpsons as who? <laughs> Oh, she shouted that out. That's that not fair. That was a honk. Was, 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 was how do I say it? That was a honk. That was a honk. Yeah, boing at the same time. <laughs> the honk that was, was a bombing, a boing and a shout out. Come on, it, it, was, it was synchronous. It's getting competitive now. I, 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 I heard the honk before the boy. Was it Marge Simpson? Was, was it Marge Simpson? Was, was it Marge? <laughs> <laughs> Marge Simpson is not the no. by name of All right, William well, McDougall. Give it to Ireland then. Give it to Ireland. <laughs> oh, well. Is it I was way off. Do you know who William McDougall is in The Simpsons? Groundskeeper Willie. No? Groundskeeper Willie, yes. Voiced oh. by Dan Castor and Arthur. <laughs> I was going to say him or... Mad. Yeah. Damn. Well done, Ireland. I was going to see him as point. well. <laughs> That's just checking with Team Home. Who, uh, team Home mark. don't get to answer the bonus questions, but they do get to say A, B, C, or D. Did so they get the point, wrong? Did they get the wrong James Bruce? Did they correctly identify? So we false we James were Bruce? a little split, but um, Stephen and Dionysus brought us straight in there with the correct answer of A, and um, a lot of people did know their Simpsons characters as well. So. Um, uh, maybe we maybe we should get that bonus point. I mean, we are doing so well here and working together. <laughs> well, well done, team home. Okay, let's spin the wheel again and see where we go, shall we, Karen? Okay, well, Wales are on four, Isla are on, are on two, and uh, we've got just under 20 minutes left, Dave. Plenty of time to go. Epistemology. Red epistemology <laughs> is um, the nature, sources, and limits of knowledge. And your first epistemological question is as follows. Which of the following is not an Olympic sport? Is it A, golf? Is it B, judo? Is it C, cricket? Or is it D, sailing? That's a Boeing. The Boeing was first. Come on, Wales. Uh, so C. Yeah, cricket. Which cricket. one was cricket? C. 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 Yeah, that's yeah. correct. If you're holding up C, that's not Olympic sport. 
<laughs> did, did they get that out? Darren, you need well done, a cheerleading boys. routine to go with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so uh, Sarah, Carol, Lorraine, Victoria, Chris and Ellie were straight in there. So uh, obviously they're a big fan of the Olympics and they knew the so correct they, answer. They got it right and all the others were wrong, were they? Just because you've got uh, two or three I, I people really getting it right and 25 <laughs> people getting it wrong. <laughs> no, I, can, point. I can see on our widget that uh, the majority of us went for C cricket. <laughs> we'll, believe, we'll believe you. Okay, Karen, let's spin the wheel again, please. All right. I'm really hoping we get Ninjology because we haven't had any... Oh, Ninjology questions, yes. And that's always a fun one, isn't it? <laughs> yes, well, Ninjology is the study of ninjas, random bonus point questions. Um, questions related to ninjas remain elusive, it says here. Yeah. Well, okay. Who was King Henry VIII's third wife? D, D. So, okay, somebody's <laughs> boinging. So you're boinging from Wales. So is the answer going to be A, B, C or D? It's clearly D. There's no, there's no question. D all the way. How did you, how did you know that? Thank you, Darren. Let's commit. <sighs> yeah. Am I right? What's her name then? You get the point for saying D, but well, I can't. It, I, it I can't really remember. Us. I can't really remember what the question was, so I can't really tell you the answer. But, you know, D. Well, you bad, you bad Jeez, yourself Jeez. a point. Henry VIII's third <laughs> wife was D. Nancy Seymour. Okay. Well, well, done, well done, Gareth. <laughs> I don't know how they well did done, that. <laughs> it's going to look like a fix. So, this, this is well, <laughs> this is it might look like a fix. Moved in my mind or something. Yeah. <laughs> Well, see, yeah, see, it's Dave. A Jedi mind uh, tricks. Richard offered me a Get packet of Welsh cakes so we and a relax. fiver if I emailed him the questions. You see, so um. <laughs> <laughs> what would you have done for two packets of Welsh cakes and a tenner? <laughs> well, yeah, this is it. This is it. <laughs> but just spend the wheel. That's what I've offered. Him. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> Agnetology. Blue oh. agnetology again. Um, okay. Right. Your fourth agnetological question. The Zoological Society of London now owns both London Zoo and Whipsnade Zoo. Who, in 1826, was the founder and first president of the society? Was it A, Charles Darwin? Was it B, Sir Stamford Raffles? Was it C, Joseph Banks, or was it D, Mary Anning? <laughs> that was a boing, which is a Welsh wizard boinging. D, Mary Anning. Uh, no, Mary Anning was a celebrated Dorset fossil hunter, but not known to be concerned with living animals, so it wasn't Mary Anning. So, come on, Ireland, you've got a choice of A, B, off. or C. Charles Darwin, Sir Stamford Raffles, think, or Joseph Banks? Um, just, unless anyone has any informed ideas, we'll just take a random punt and see what happens. <laughs> yeah, Go for it, Go for Holding up C, do you know who C is, or is this a complete guess? <laughs> Uh, it was no, the guy. So... <laughs> <laughs> See, it was Joseph. He was the president of the society. Well, it was Cap. It was the botanist on Captain Cook's first voyage. Uh, he was involved in found in discussions about founding the society, but he died in 1820, so it wasn't Joseph Banks. Surprisingly, oh. it wasn't Charles Darwin either, who was only 17 at the time. It was the Stamford Raffles. He of the Singapore sling fame, well, no, he founded Singapore, uh, but he died within a couple of months of being elected president. But Sir Stamford Raffles was the founder of the London Zoological Society. Not many people know that, do they, HJ? 
<laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Team Home, we wrap around you at quite quickly. <laughs> but uh, I know uh, Chris and uh, Dinosis were straight in there with their answer. So I reckon they, uh, they've got that knowledge there and uh, the rest of Team Home followed and agreed there that uh, we thought B was the right answer. You're saying two out of 27 guests of Stamford Raffle, so you're claiming a point for the whole team. <laughs> Is That's how, how it works at work? Team Home, we're a democracy. <laughs> <laughs> what's, the score, what's the score between Welsh Wizards and Hodor's Heroes, please, Darren? Oh, it's Wales 5, Ireland 2. 5-2. Questions are now worth two points. So here's a chance to catch oh. up. So let's spin the wheel. <laughs> Don't worry, boy. No matter how <laughs> rubbish we are, Ireland are worse. That's what's going to come to it. Fair enough. Well, well, to okay. The next ninja logical question is here. Which of the following events has the highest prize pool? Is it A, the Golf Masters? Is it B, the Tour de France? Is it C, the Fortnite World Cup? Or is it D, the Wimbledon Tennis Championships? That was a honk, which is from Ireland. Hodor's Heroes, highest prize pot. Luke, come on, somebody hold C. The Fortnite World Cup is incorrect. So, what do the Wizards reckon? I, I think it's Wimbledon. Do you reckon I thought it might be the Masters? Golf. Yeah, it's one of them. Tennis two, or the, I don't know. It's the tennis or the golf, isn't it? What do you reckon, Darren? Wimbledon's over a million. How much do they get in the Darren, golf? Well, Darren's it, won both it, is of it, them, is so it, he should know. It's a long time ago, <laughs> Come on, come on, come on. Pick, pick one, pick one. Let's go with golf then, because, yeah, let's go with golf. All right, the Masters. What's that, the Masters I've that lost a, my B it? card. The golf, I, I wrote the E on the back. There we go. It's B. It's Which golf one was B? the golf one? Well, look, come on, boys, we're spinning out. We're in the lead. The golf, 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 was golf was here. Golf was here. They're both wrong. They're both wrong. Oh, A. Yeah, it was Wimbledon. <laughs> oh. But don't worry, that used up at least three minutes, yeah? <laughs> the Wimbledon prize pool is... Yeah. OK, all right. Just kick the ball straight I'm out, gonna OK? Both, I'm going to ask both for five <laughs> points. I'm going to ask both teams what they think the prize... Not the, not the prize for the winner. The prize pool is for Wimbledon. Or whoever's Ooh. closest... Uh, gets it. So I'm going to go... Male or all female? Single singles or doubles? The, 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 the entire prize pool I, for Wimbledon the, in the 2019 pool, right. okay. was... I want your answer it. now. How goes Heroes? Come on. Prize pool? Tell me a number in 4. millions 5 of pounds. 4.5 million. 4.5 million. What do the higher, Wizards higher. reckon yeah, it was? 7. 50, 50. 50. 50. Seven oh, it's more than that, isn't it? All right, 7. Your bow will be higher anyway. Yeah. What are you saying? Too high, you know. Give me a number. Seven, seven. million. Darren's seven a cat. Million. Million. Bay, Darren. <laughs> You're saying seven million in Wales, are you? You're yeah. woefully far yeah, adrift, but you are far closer. So that's five points to Wales. But <laughs> the price <laughs> up was thirty-eight million pounds. Yeah, yeah. See, I said it was about 50, didn't I? <laughs> yeah. Okay, oh, that's boys. made a big I'm difference, those five points. Okay, we better spin the wheel, and questions are now worth five <coughs> points. Spin the wheel. <laughs> Zoology. Pink, a zoological question. Which animal was used in ancient Rome in place of guard dogs? A, alligators, B, cobras. Oh, don't buzz in. That was a Boeing, which is Welsh. <laughs> was, it Gareth, was it Gareth's mum? <laughs> oh. uh, don't waste time. Hold up a letter, A, B, C, or D. <laughs> C. 
<laughs> you are right. Ah, oh, don't say it. Oh, you don't have me, son. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Do, do, you know what, do you know what C was going to be? Geese. Geese. Geese, yes. Geese. No. Well done. Well, 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 I was waiting for it. I'm playing the game properly. Sorry, I'm making a mockery of this. Shame, shame. Um, look, Hodor's oh, heroes, these Welsh wizards, are you using their wizardry and getting it in front of you? <laughs> so, for I ten points, the spin the wheel and course. see what the next question is. <laughs> spin. Right. Now, Richard Ten needs to stop cheating as well if he's listening to the audience. Yes, yeah. have any etymology yeah, questions? Etymology yeah, is behave. the study of words and their origins. So, etymological question coming up. Hodor's heroes need to be quick on the buzzer here. <laughs> oh, dear. The Welsh word, popty ping, means what in English? <laughs> <laughs> Was that a boing? <laughs> I, I heard a boing. Yeah, he's boinged already. You've boinged. You no, haven't boinged. boinged. Yes. You haven't boinged. You haven't boinged. I heard a boing. Boing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come on. No, no, Is it A, B? I, want a, I heard a what? boing. I want an answer. Oh, a, B, Gary. C, or D from actually, the Welsh oh, Wizard. We actually know the answer to this one. Yeah, we know, we the, might answer. know the answer. What did you do that for? Yeah, nice the, the acceptable answer is A, B, C, I, I or D. I like playing fast and loose. I want well, an I answer so now. I said Irish, and I like playing fast Otherwise, and loose. it goes straight to B. Ireland. B. No, B is not the correct answer. So the full question oh. is now going to be read out Shocking. for Hodor's heroes. <laughs> the Welsh word potty pink means what in English? Is it A, sausage, B, doorbell, C, horn, or D, microwave? Your D? You think it's D microwave? <laughs> yes, because they do go popty ping, don't they? And that was ten points to Hodor's heroes. Has that changed what? the position on the scoreboard? Or is it that well, Dave. <laughs> yeah. no, Interesting you ask. Wales are still in the lead, and uh, we have Intel that uh, Richard may be looking at the uh, audience's version, which is not permissible. So uh, we must be very. Uh, uh, <laughs> That's a good play idea. Fair. I didn't think oh. of that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, because we don't want any cheating or any unfair things in, in the name of uh, this sport. Um, but no, we've got Wales on 15, Ireland on 12. So uh, Ireland's still behind, but getting there. So, shall we have another question? Dave. Yeah, we will. Yes, yeah, spin. Spin the wheel. Oh, dear. Yeah. Agnatology. Have we got any more agnatology questions? It's blue. Agnatology. It's an Olympic event. Mother and daughter together. A, gymnastics, is it B, the long jump, archery, D, golf? Dave, would you read the question? I got the answer, but not the question. Yeah, I didn't hear the question. <laughs> yeah. Okay. R Rich, imply your method. The only Olympic event in which mother and daughter have competed together. A, a what? B, long jump, golf, D, archery. I, I couldn't hear that question again. Oh, oh, that was a point. That was the boing. Uh, so do we have an answer? Frozen, but we can hear. Welsh Wizards, you boinged. D. D. Oh, no, that's wrong. So, Hodor's Heroes. Oh. Dave, I I'm not sure whether you. everyone heard the question um, or not. You might need to recap. Okay. What's the only Olympic event in which a mother and daughter have it together? A, gymnastics, B, golf, C, archery are the only choices left. I was going to guess no, archery. No, we just said archery, didn't we? We said archery. I, yeah. D was archery. We did D archery. Yeah, archery is wrong. 
Yeah, so that's not one of the options. We just said archery was the one. I'm going to have to trust you for an answer, sir. Is anybody there <laughs> hearing me? Can they give an answer? Oh, no, we're going to go for B. Go for B, yeah. Yeah, we'll go for B. B long jump. Did I say it correct? It's golf. <laughs> um, <laughs> in 1900. So. <laughs> Oh no, poor Dave. He's uh Dave, let's see is your audio better now. We've only got uh four minutes left. So uh Dave, your last chance, otherwise I will take Can over which have me? dire consequences. Spin the, wheel. spin the wheel. Good idea. Spin the wheel, spin the wheel. Oh, ninjology. Ninjology, bear with me. Okay. Okay, where in London is the London Stock Exchange located? Is it A, Paternoster Square? Is it B, Canary Wharf? Is it C, Chester Square? Or is it D, Terrell Street? Was I heard? I think so. Let's just check. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, that's a honk. Okay. That was a honk. Is it C? No. So, how does hear us? I couldn't really hear it, there. but, you know. Oh, it was a honk, was it? Yeah. Yeah. That, that was a honk. How does hear us? Paternoster Square, honk. Canary Wharf, Beryl, Fred Needle Street, A, B, C, or D. You've honked, how does tell me an answer? The same B. B. You're saying B, Canary Wharf. No, that's incorrect. So, what are those wizards? Oh. What do you think? A, C, or D? I think D. it's A. All right, I, I think it's Darren. Pat, I think it's Paternoster Square. You're saying A. 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 Is that your final answer? Correct. Yeah, that's yeah. Uh, yeah. 10 yeah. points. Oh, well, 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 well done, Darren. Did Darren is our leader. All hail Darren. Uh, at Hope, this was one I of love the you, only Darren. questions I actually knew I love the you answer. Too. And uh, it seems Lorraine and Sasha knew as well along with me. But as we go by majority rule on uh, Team Home, we collectively, we didn't get that one. Most of us did think it was Canary Wharf as well. Well, our next question is the okay, last well, one. So, I'll Dave, how many points? Conscience. Okay. Um, my next um, question is the last question, need... Dave. So how many points will it be worth? Yeah. I think we're going to need uh, 15 points for this. Okay. One five. Spin a wheel, please. Zoology. Zoology. Okay. Yes. Right. Which of these... Will you not in Antarctica? Is it A, penguins? Is it B, seals? Is it C, polar bears? Or is, or is it D, whales? That's a Boeing. Go Welsh Wizards, what's your answer quickly? Let's have it. Let's have it. There you go. C, C polar bears. I can't see what you're holding up. Is that your final answer? C, polar bears. You won't find yeah, polar, polar bears, bears in Antarctica. Yeah. You are correct. Because that polar correct. bears live in the Arctic, Woo! not in the Antarctic. Hey. And that is how you grind someone into the dust. And... <laughs> uh, before we, before we find out right who's won in the studio, did, did they know about a home, HJ? Yes, uh, actually, Team Home were extremely confident on that one. So uh, we had a lot of Cs. I think some uh, Cs on our keyboards are worn out the amount of times someone pressed it. So I'm very pleased that we've yeah. done well on our final question today. And it does, of course, explain why polar bears don't eat penguins, apart from not being able to get the wrappers off. <laughs> oh, uh, so, 
Oh, With that, Karen, oh, please yeah. reveal the scores. The scores are Wales, lots, and Ireland, not quite so many. <laughs> Dignity is overrated. Well, I think it's congratulations to the Welsh Wizards and commiserations to Hodor's Heroes. Uh, come back next year and we'll play the best of three, shall we? <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Well done, comrades. Well done, guys. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Thank you for taking part. Yes, and thank you, Dave, for being a wonderful you, Chris, master. And, uh, and thank You're you to our teams well. for coming along and playing uh, our fun game. I, I think, hope you'll agree it's all been a, a lot of fun and a lovely chance to all get together and uh, show what a lovely bunch of people we all are all over the world at the Open University. So, so thank you all. <laughs> and I have got uh, surprises of my own to give out today, actually, uh, because we've been having a study space competition and we've seen some really, really wonderful places. So uh, I'm not sure if we're going to refresh the slides so that I can show you um, some of the things people have done if we have a quick break or if we're going to go straight into that. Um, but maybe, HJ, we can just sort of wrap up the show um, in terms of uh, some of the things that we've uh, experienced today it's been a very bonding experience um and, and i've certainly had a whale of a time so uh how have you found it you've done a wonderful job sitting there with the range of people who come to support you on the hot desk but uh, you no doubt have been slogging it hard out in, in your lovely tidy study space <laughs> yeah i worked hard on my study space it's not normally this tidy but we've had an absolutely fantastic time on the chat today and it's been so inspiring hearing people's goals and seeing everyone share their top tips for study and the reasons why they're studying as well so uh it's been great as well to have all the people support me in the chat tala's been amazing as our official scorekeeper as well for team home uh we reckon we won that one with 27 points and i must thank as well all the people from the student support team and career service joe scott vic matt and Joanne so thank you so much and we've just had a fantastic day and there's loads of things that we've shared which might be interesting checking out to help with your studies later on so just go to our website studenthublive.open.ac.uk and check out all the great resources uh, mentioned today and uh, if there's anything else you think of and that we miss because there was so much going on in this amazing chat today that we had just email us studenthub at open.ac.uk ac.uk and we'd love to get back to you but i've been so grateful for everyone being so fantastic on the chat and the fantastic time we've had so i can't wait for us to do it again next time Thank you, HJ. No, it's been absolutely wonderful. I hope that you've had um, a really good time. I hope you feel more connected to each other um, and to the Open University. We've got loads of events lined up for you. We do something, well, lots of the time, certainly each month. We've got study skills workshops uh, where we cover things like essay planning and writing um, and uh, all sorts of things like creative note taking is a new workshop. We've got time management. So all those key skills that we've got for students at all levels. You can sign up to those at the Student Hub Live website and we've got some of those coming up in the next couple of weeks as the modules start and we also have these broadcast events where you can see um, and meet other open university colleagues and we talk about a range of things that we know are important to OU students so um, do join our mailing list just pop your email in the uh, student hub live website uh, and uh, you can then be part of that to, to know when the new events are going to be published and um, we've also got catch up of these sessions um, on our catch up page and also you can catch up on the adobe connect workshops as well on the student hub live website um, but let's uh, without further ado have the winners for some of our wonderful student hub live gorgeous stationery um, and highlighters and post-it notes so um, our most innovative study space goes to Olivia. We loved Olivia's cupboard. Um, we all had so much admiration for the great way that um, you could close the doors on it um, and how resourceful she had been connecting all of these things together. And now we have the award for the most cozy space, which goes to Abby for her snug beds an excellent use of the drawers underneath to keep all of her books and things um, because Abby is bed bound for, for a lot of the time. Well done, Abby. 
And then uh, next, uh, of, of the third of four awards is the best use of a small space, which goes to... Number 25, and I've just forgotten who had number 25. Oh my goodness, I can't remember. Angela, can you help me remember her name? Here, let me just uh, get it. It's Sarah, there we are. So that's Sarah. Um, so Sarah's study space is super beautiful. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a desk, um, one of those lovely old fashioned ones with lots of spaces and, and beautiful fairy lice, which we, we really love. And our final category, um, which is for um, everything, just the everything category, um, goes to... Exciting, isn't it? Goes to Ruth. Um, we really, really love Ruth's organisation and highlighters, um, but most of all, we love the flowers on there because they were a present um, for her, and we thought that was very inspirational um, to make her feel really good about her studies. So we will be posting you some stationery. We'll be in touch um, in the next day um, and uh, get your uh, address, uh, but then we'll have to sneak into the office um, and get a pass and then get the things out of the office and post them. So it might take a little bit of time for us to organise it, Posting things we've discovered is a lot more complicated in lockdown times, um, but we will get those out to you. Um, and thank you very much for participating. Um, any feedback you've got, do email studenthub at open.ac.uk. But I hope you've had a great day. I hope you're feeling really good. I um, hope you made some lovely friends and we'll see you at another event very, very soon. Bye for now.